In problem number four, we just need to find the sum of the following series. Um, so what you should notice first about this is that you have two exponential functions. However, their uh, exponents are different. In order to get this to be in the form of a series that we could figure out the sum of, and remember the ways, the series that you know the sums of are geometric series and telescoping series. Um, and this looks like it could become a geometric series. We just need to work with it a little bit to get into that form. So what we need to do is get both powers to be n minus 1, because we're starting at n equals 1. So if the power is n minus 1 on a geometric series, we have a formula that tells us how to figure out that sum. So we want to leave the numerator as negative 3 to the n minus 1. But on the denominator, we need to turn that power of 4, or that exponent on the 4, into n minus 1. So what this is, is this is 4 more exponent. This exponent is 4 units higher than n minus 1. So if we do 4 to the 4 times 4 to the n minus 1, that's a way that we can decompose n plus 3. So this is the way we want it because now this has an exponent of n minus 1 and that has an exponent of n minus 1. So we have this 4 to the 4 left over, so let's rewrite this in a more logical way. This 4 to the 4 is now a constant, so that can be brought to the outside. 1 over 4 to the 4. And inside now we have negative 3 to the n minus 1 and 4 to the n minus 1. In other words, we could make that negative 3 fourths to the n minus 1. So this is exactly what we need, because now this is a geometric series. <clears throat> and we have this 1 over 4 to the 4 out front. So we need to just figure out what's the sum of this series, and then we can just multiply it by 1 over 4 to the 4. So when we take the sum of this, remember that your uh, geometric series formula is that the sum is equal to, or uh, actually, let me rewrite this in one more way, just in case. Uh, this is the p way of writing the formula that you are most familiar with. We could have 1 over 4 to the 4 as our a. It's really it's the same thing, but in either case, so the sum of a geometric series is 1 over 1 minus r, where r is the number that's in the power. Or, if you prefer, it's a over 1 minus r, where a is the value of that, um, co uh, that constant that's multiplied times your geometric series term. You can see here is if, if we just treated this and used the um, formula 1 over 1 minus r and then multiplied it by 1 over 4 to the 4, that's the same thing as putting the a 1 over 4 to the 4 and multiplying it there. It's the same thing. In any case, let's figure out what this is. So r is negative 3 fourths. Make sure that you make sure you, you realize that's negative, because that is important here. So we get the sum is equal to 1 over 1 minus negative 3 fourths <clears throat> times 1 over 4 to the 4. So if we simplify this a little bit more, we get 1 over 4 to the 4 over 7 over 4. So we can do a little bit of simplification here. If we rearrange these fractions, it would look like this. So you can see that one of these 4s is going to cancel out. This is going to leave us with 4 cubed. And that one would cancel out. 4 cubed is 64. We're doing 1 over 64 times 1 over 7. Um, at that point, you can probably just look at your answers because the only one that's even close to something like that, which is the product of 64 and 7, is E, which is 1 over 448. So then this was just making sure that you knew how to use the sum of a geometric series formula, as well as how to convert um, a series to a geometric series that's a little bit out of form.